All right, well, I know this thing is like completely stock, but I'm starting to get just a little bit bored on how it sounds. So first off, this exhaust looks really fucking ugly. And that's a really big, long muffler. So I have two options. I can completely cut the muffler off or I could just cut a hole in it somewhere. This is a really long muffler. I feel like I shouldn't cut it that far. Instead of cutting it all off, I think I should just cut a big hole in it, letting the exhaust come straight down. Because if I cut it completely off, I don't know where the gas tank is. I think it's right here. I don't want it to like catch on fire or burn a hole in the gas tank or anything like that. This is exhaust clip, stock exhaust. Pretty much the only thing you can hear is the blow off valve. This time I'm borrowing someone's electric grinder because mine is used by the air compressor and I don't know where the cord is. So this is also easier because I don't have to wait for a compressor and it'll have to be loud. And this is a lot bigger of a cutting pad than my current cutting pad. So we got the exhaust right here. This rock is a little bit in the way, but I should be able to cut like a big hole right here without hurting anything. And uh, I don't know what to do with this exhaust tip. There's like nothing you can do. It's, it's just it's ugly. ugly. Yeah. All right, I got some gloves, so hopefully that somehow helps. I don't know mechanic, but I think you should be wearing like some type of mask. Yeah, I'm just closing my eyes and looking away. You can see into it now. It's really thick metal. I did not expect a muffler to be this thick. So now I'm gonna try to like... It's probably really hot, so I'm gonna grab a screwdriver and try to bend this piece of metal out. You're only making them tiny, that tiny hole? No, I'm gonna make it oh, bigger. So I backed up the car even more and I somehow didn't hit my car. So this brick is a little bit higher than the two pieces of wood I had on. And now I have like a clear shot of it. The closer I get back, the better it is because of the driveway's at a really harsh slope. So it gives me a lot of room to really get under the car rather than like sliding under it from flat ground. So that's why I've been doing it like this. And you're probably wondering where the fuck did I do this trunk? Well, that's because then I can bend this piece up nice and easily. And then if I go straight across again, then I bend this piece up instead of cutting four di uh, directional squares. Well, cutting out a square by doing four different directions, I could do this three these two one two and then one this way bend them back and just bend them until they snap out of place just like that and it ripped my glove but yeah makes it nice and easy and i started it obviously to back it up it already sounds better but i didn't record it yet because i'm not done so i want to record the final result <laughs>
from the inside, the turbo is louder than the exhaust. Let's see if I can even hear it in the tunnel. Probably not. Yeah. It's probably just wind noise we're gonna hear. Right here. From the outside, the outside, the exhaust is a lot louder probably. But from the inside, it should it's be up. not that loud. Really well. 